All right, guys, this is gonna be one of the most requested videos here on my YouTube channel below in the comment sections. And it's on how to add the Instagram follow animation into any videos, including your YouTube channel videos. And the final results are gonna be like this. So up, my friends? Are you following me on my Instagram account? No, seriously, because I post a whole bunch of photos and behind the scenes videos. I'm just gonna put it right here. Check it out. Follow if you're into science and videography. And back to the video. Hi my friends, welcome to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel Nemo TV. I'm Nima and here on my YouTube channel on a weekly basis I post lots of video editing tutorials, tech reviews and lots of tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. So if this is your first time watching my videos, you don't have to subscribe yet. You don't have to like yet. Just keep watching this video and by the end of the video if you enjoyed watching it and you found value in it. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for my weekly videos. So as I promised to you guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and super easy integrate an Instagram follow animation into any videos, in our case, YouTube videos. It could be TikTok videos, it could be on any platform, any type of videos. And we are gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm actually gonna be creating the project from scratch so even if you know nothing about editing and you just started your uh, youtube channel and you use adobe premiere pro or i would say any video editing software because the pr procedure is the same it's just the location of the menus that are different so buckle up get ready and let's do it all right, so first I'm just gonna be creating a new project. Let's just name it IG tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. File new, I'm gonna be creating a new sequence. I'm gonna be doing 4K, let's just name it main sequence. Now I'm gonna be importing the video that I just recorded. It could be any of your projects. Let's just do it on this. I'm just gonna be double clicking on this and get the in and out part. So I'm gonna be starting to talk from here and then I'm just marking in and then all the way to the end where I cover the camera, mark out. I just drag and drop it on my timeline, keep existing because both are 4K. I'm just gonna be zooming in. So if I play it, Hello, my friends. Are you following me on my Instagram account? No, seriously, because I post all okay. the Where I want the slider to show right up, here. I just stop, razor tool, cut, then let it be playing until Check where you want the slider to go. I usually do like four or five seconds. Stop, razor. So we're done with the uh, razor tool. To the and that's going to be it. Now I'm going to be selecting. I'm just going to move this one track higher because I'm going to put stuff below. Now I'm going to be taking screenshots of my Instagram account using another account. So just create a new account or an account that you don't have any mutual friends with that one. And actually, let me show you how to do it. So you just uh, type in your uh, Instagram page using the other one. You do a screenshot and then you follow and you do another screenshot. Let me close this. Do another screenshot. And that's it. And then just I'm just going to be sending these to my laptop and I'm just going to be dragging and dropping these into my timeline. So one of them is going to be after one and one before subscribe uh, following. Sorry. So I'm going to be OK. This is before. So I'm going to make it shorter. I would say half of the section that we cut here. And also this is after follow almost the same. It's, it should be fitting here. So right now. If I make the top layer right invisible, Check it out. Uh, let's just make sure, okay, the cut is clean, so it's not cutting in the middle. Let me just right make here. this uh, section hidden so you can see what's going on beneath. So we have this, which is before uh, following. I go to editing from effects control. I'm going to be sliding this to the left or any side that you want. Here we are doing left, so I'm just going to use position. Put it right here. If you want to make the size different, use the scale. All right, I'm going to be resetting. So this is the perfect location. I can adjust the scale. So I get rid of the time on top and the menu at the bottom. This is perfect. Now I'm going to be ri right click on zoom in, right click on this one, copy and right click on the second one, paste attributes and make sure motion is checked. 
OK and it automatically is just going to go there. So you don't have to do the same process. So right if I here, do it before, it follow, after following. Sure OK, we are all set on this. Thing. Now I'm going to be making this layer visible again. And right here, one, after a little bit passes, like one second, click on it, go to editing effects control and toggle the animation for position. OK, and go to the beginning and click on reset. So you have a reset location and then go to the second one and just slide it to the right so the layer beneath shows up and then let it be playing until like before the end and create a keyframe by clicking right here make sure the correct layer is selected and then go to the end of the video oh i went too much go back select your top layer go towards the end and click on reset so it creates a keyframe in the main location so it's going to look like this slides out and then slides left so this is uh what we want make sure you're cr uh, creating the keyframe right now go to google search for free white hand mouse png there's this website that offers free png files i'm going to be adding a clicker i like this pointer so i'm just going to click download png download i'm not a robot Okay, it's being downloaded. Once it's downloaded, I'm just going to be dragging and dropping this into my timeline. Make sure the duration fits our animation, which is right here. Then click on it. Editing face control. I'm going to be making this smaller. So adjust it based on how big you want it to be. Yeah, this is perfect. Now we want to animate it. So in the beginning, it should be out of the screen. We don't want it to show up. So let's say if in here, Check you it want it to still be out. So just put it out and then toggle on the position in the animations. Just click on this and then let it be playing. In here, I want it to show up. So now I just, let me just click on reset so it's in the middle. Now I'm just gonna put it on the follow button and then let it be played because the keyframe is already created. It's gonna hold it there. After it's changed to following, I'm just gonna be creating a keyframe and then let it be playing and now I want it to move out. So let's just move it down, let's say. So just move it down. So if I play it right now after the keyframes, right here, slides in, check it out, click, follow, hold, and time. goes out. Geography so make sure you got it till here. Now I'm gonna be adding some sound effects. Let me tell you something. I, all of the music, all of the sound effects that I use for my YouTube videos, even tutorials, vlogs, my uh, commercials like projects that i do for clients i use them i've been using epidemic sound for the last year i'm so happy with it first i got the personal use subscription which is like 15 bucks per month you have unlimited access to musics which they update on daily basis sound effects anything i want it's out there i'm actually gonna put a link my referral link so it's gonna be the same for you guys i'm just gonna be making a little bit of money to support the channel so if you are into making videos and stuff i highly recommend i actually upgraded mine into commercial so now i'm paying about like 50 bucks 49 dollars per month so it's so good i mean it's totally worth it so actually i'm gonna be using this to find the mouse click and whoosh sound effects let's do the whoosh first when it slides i won't have the whoosh so go to sound effects mm, not this one Actually, yeah, this one is good. Let's just download it, store download, drag and drop it over my project uh, right here. So let's just close this, double click on this. I'm gonna, yeah, first one, mark in till here, mark out, drag and drop it where it slides, uh, let it plays. Hey. Check it out. Okay, okay, everything is good. I can actually make it slower, the duration, so it kind of is takes longer. I'm just gonna put it on 50%. Now if I play Here. it, Check it out. okay, it's good. Follow. Let's just copy paste exact same thing at the end, then it slides back. So I'm just gonna make sure my layer is selected. Uh, actually, it's the layer one. So uh, Control V, uh, I copied yeah. this already. Now let's just put the volume a little bit down. Uh, but let's add the click first and then we'll do it. So I'm just going to click mouse click. Uh, let's see what they've got. Mm, nope. Mm, this one is good. Uh, yes. Yeah. Let's get this one. Download. Start. 
drag and drop it over my project right where it changes its status from follow to following oh, if you're into perfect and all right let's uh should we adjust the volumes now yeah, yeah actually let's do it i'm just going to be clicking on this from editing fx control just untoggle the animation for level and put it on minus 10 i would say check it out okay now it's good They're let's right just do here. the exact <laughs> same thing out. for the last oh. one right here the whoosh it's just too loud when we make it slower it's kind of louder so all right let's let me play so from my here friends are you following mm -hmm. me on my instagram account no seriously because i post who is this guy this one shut up keep still right here Check okay whoosh click whoosh back all right actually let's back spice back. it up let's go back to epidemic sound i want to add a ding effect like ding sound it's going to be cool believe me uh, let's just type in ding uh, let's see what they've got nope oh the second one yeah let's just download this start and drag and drop over my project on the timeline at the audio section it's too long too long you don't need the last part all right let me play it i'm just gonna put it right here <laughs> check it out Follow if you're into mm. and now we're talking guys good news your instagram animation is ready now let's say you want to use this on a new project all you need to do you don't have to create this all just make sure on the base project which could be your first project select the main elements of the animation including the sounds uh the mouse the pointer and the two images of follow following mode right click group them and just whenever you need this on a new project just copy this group and drag and drop it over the new sequence okay i don't have it now but drag and drop it and what you need to do into the new video in order to make it align is uh, make sure because we have keyframes once you created that make sure you copy this from this portion that you added the keyframe the sliding part uh, let me see if this is going to be long enough and then you right click on the portion uh, this is gonna be too short and I can try it you hit okay let me see slides out yeah it's not gonna be enough at the end all right let's do it in the in the initial part what you need to do is drag and drop the layer uh, up one track and then drag and drop this here so the images are at the bottom then use the razor tool cut exactly depending on how long your animation is copy the effects from the previous video that you've got and open the new one paste the motion on that section that you cut and oh you got friends, it you uh-huh no, everything just copies just make sure you cut the right portion and copy paste the motion animation from the base file that you've got and you can do this into any project so you either uh, drag and drop the elements to the new sequence or copy paste so up to you guys just make sure you create like a short sample file that you always have access or let's say on the first project that you use make sure you recognize the name and then you just use that as a base file and then you just cut the video the new video portion using the razor tool after dragging the elements so you know how long you have to cut and then copy paste the motion slide animation from the base file portion that you just created and that's it so I'm actually gonna put the link to the base file that I created but without the source file so you're gonna have uh, like a, a premiere project with the elements that you just saw here so it's gonna be the sound effects the motion slide animations but I'm not gonna be including the sound effects and the actual video source file so once you open it on your own Adobe Premiere Pro you're gonna be seeing an error like I uh, couldn't find the files just ignore that what you can do with that is to know the duration you can actually go to fix control and check the keyframes to compare it or copy paste the attributes into your projects and as always if you had any questions you know where to ask below in the descriptions and if you want to kind of keep up with my daily posts and stuff you can follow me on my instagram account and if you found value in this and you want to keep watching more of what I have to offer here on my YouTube channel, it's cool, believe me. I told you it's going to be cool. 
make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notifications and whenever you see the notification make sure to check out the video because it's going to be legendary and thanks for watching appreciate it please be safe and until the next video Oh, class.